Come one on. sec, one sec. Charlie. 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 Oh, Charlie, feel me when you're shouting. <laughs> There's a friend from Avro's, uh, my mate Paul, he, he rang me down and said about the old clubhouse. They say the old, you can see, it's bang on, isn't it? Mm. But their clubhouse, uh, you know, is a possibility is a gym. So we had to take the bar out, unfortunately. Never good, that is. Yes, it? never good uh, removing bars and stuff. But uh, So we took that out and got to work, got to work here. I want to say we got to work. As you know, I'm not the, the best with DIY, but I showed my face a few times. And uh, yeah, we, we cracked on and... We're very thankful now. Listen, now we're we're a charity. I think which so many amateur clubs are going that way, and I think you know we're going to continue to be like that. So many amateur clubs because of the current situation. We've talked about the not much help from the government, and um, it's just been well documented lately. But uh, Maverick Stars have played a huge part in it. They've helped us out massively. Um, Charlotte and the team there forever thankful, and we look forward to working with them going forward. And I mentioned it just then. Being like in the middle of an estate, there's a lot that we can do in the community and you know there's projects that we want to do going forward and I'm excited to be involved in them with them. It's been hard, it's been hard but we've got there and uh, just dead, you know, really proud, you know, now sort of looking around and what it means to Jimmy Lewis and stuff. He's dedicated over 40 years of his life, you know, helping kids in the area and stuff like that and see how much he loves it and some of the other coaches who've seen it now, they're made up because as a club, I mean, Jimmy would tell you a lot more about that, but I had it tough over the years, you know, never had, you know, we've moved from place to place, uh, whereas now I feel like we've got, this is the best place we've been since I've been involved in the last 20 odd years, and it's, we're not going to have to move anytime soon, mm. so I'm just, just dead happy with it all, I mean, it means a lot to me seeing what it means to them. I couldn't believe it when I came the other week to see how far they'd done from when we first seen it, and, uh, an unfortunate situation what we've had with the fire and stuff for this it's just brilliant uh, I say I started the club 1978 which is about 42 years ago and uh, I know it's from an unfortunate situation as I say it again but this is brilliant at the moment Interesting watching Jimmy, uh, he looks really chuffed. I mean, I yeah. know he might be cracking on in years, but he looks as fit as a flea. Yeah, he he's flying, as isn't he? Enthusiastic as ever. Yeah, he is, and that's it, it gives him that, that lease of life. He's, he's flying anyway, Jimmy, you know, he's into his 80s and stuff, but he's, uh, he looks, um, he, you know, he looks great. And I think this keeps him young, this keeps him young, giving with the kids, and they all respect him. And uh, they can't wait, he can't wait to get back in. He can't wait to get back in with them all as well. There's been a few Fox gyms because we've had to move, I've been at the club for about 13 years. I've been to at least three gyms in that time and none of them have been like this. This is just it's something else and putting pictures now on Instagram and whatnot so all the lads can see it and they're just itching to get back in themselves. So it's, it's brilliant. Jimmy was blown away the first time he saw it. I think the last time you guys were here it was just a bar, mm. just a pub. So massive changes, brilliant.